this role of the shepherd is symbolic of Christ. Christ who actually created for himself or took from, for himself a small flock. A small flock that accepted him as their shepherd. And this small flock that accepted Christ as their, she as their shepherd was from the poorest of the poor. When you look at those disciples of Christ, what were they? He chose the air. Those who were poor, those who were ignorant, those who were uneducated. So that his strength may be air, may be seen. And then he says, I took for myself two air, two staffs. One that they used to use against the beasts. To scare the beasts away from their sheep. And the other they used to use to actually guide the sheep so that the sheep can stay steadfast on the path behind, a, behind the shepherd. And here it's, we find that God says, calls, her, calls the two air. One of them, he calls it. The one I called beauty and the other I called bonds. One is beauty, yes. Why is it beauty? Because this is exactly what God came to give us. He came to give us grace. He came to give us blessing. And both the grace and the blessing of God is beauty to us. And the other is called bonds. Bonds, this is representative of, of unity. Why? Because he came to reunite. He came to unite the earthly with the heavenly. He came to unite both tribes of Israel. He came to unite the Gentiles and the Jews in Christ. And therefore, if you look at this, it's as if Christ saying, yes, I will take for myself those that will accept me. I will give them beauty. I will give them grace and blessing. And I will give them unity. They will be united, one in my body, one in my church, one in my heavenly Jerusalem through uniting us or binding us through his love, his unlimited love, through his love and mercy that grants us both this beauty and this bond so we can become one in him and he becomes one in us.